Our new plugin for Figma is the absolute easiest way to use Font Awesome icons in your Figma project. To get started, we're going to create a new Figma file. Go to the Resources tab at the top of the screen. Make sure you're in the Plugin section and search for Font Awesome. Be sure to select the official Font Awesome plugin. And voila, there we go. Now, in order to get access to the Font Awesome icon library, you'll need to connect your Font Awesome account using an API token. So we're going to jump over to Font Awesome, visit the accounts page, and scroll down to the API token section. Now we're going to tap create a new API token, select Figma as the scope, and generate. Next, we'll copy this code and then go back to Figma, paste the API token into that field, and tap the next button. And there you go. We have all of the Font Awesome Icon Library available and at your fingertips. Now I'm just going to scoot this over just a little bit. You can easily navigate through our different styles, and you can even jump between our different families. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add our Balm icon to the Figma canvas. You just simply click on it in the plugin, and there you go. We also have some different padding options built in. So if we want this to have a fixed width padding, square or roomy, you can just click one of those, tap the icon again, and it will be added with the new padding applied. Let's remove these. Now, another great feature of the plugin is that we provided access to any custom icon that you've uploaded to a Font Awesome kit. This includes icons created using the icon wizard or any additional icon libraries that you have loaded into Figma. In this case, one of our kits, we've gone ahead and loaded the Feather icon library directly into a Font Awesome kit. And you can see here that all of the Feather icons are now available. And if we click on one, it is added to the Figma canvas just like all of our other icons in Font Awesome. Now, another cool feature with this Figma plugin is that you can search in the entire Font Awesome icon library. So let's go back to our classic solid style here, and let's say we want to use a Poo Storm icon. So all we have to do is search. I'm just going to search for Poo. You'll see that this is using Algolia, so it's going to pull up all of our icons related to Poo. So we have the Poop icon, the Poo Storm icon, a Pool um, Ball icon here. I think this. Uh, honey jar is coming up because of Winnie the Pooh, pool, et cetera, et cetera. So if you tap the Pooh Storm icon, there you go. It shows up in your canvas. And it's as easy as that. Using the Figma plugin for Font Awesome, you can easily add any icon you want to your Figma project. Now, go make something awesome. Font Awesome, go make something awesome.